So, okay, so I would definitely go back. And I, the, I wouldn't have done the deviled eggs, but they were good. Well, you, the deviled eggs is like you think of deviled eggs, and you're like, everybody has deviled eggs. It's not yeah. a big deal. Grandma made those. It's a whole different deal. And it's like totally yeah. good. So, okay. All right. Fantastic. All right, let's do this. You ready? I'm ready. Right. Okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to I'd Eat That. I'm Corey. I'm John. And this is a show where we talk about things <clears throat> we like to eat. And sometimes love to eat. Oh, yes. And we found some. We did. We did. <laughs> We went to another awesome place, just in Plano. Yes, just in Plano. That's right. Yeah, it's called... Actually, they've opened up another one off 635 in Capel. All right. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Two places to enjoy. Woo! Two okay. times the greatness. Yay. Oh, and where did we go? We went to Whiskey Cake. Oh, Whiskey Cake. Yes. That's good stuff. It's, it's delicious. It's really one of those places that you go there... And I've been there multiple times, mm -hmm. and I have yet to go there and come back and be like, you know what? I wish I wouldn't have ordered that, or I wish I wouldn't have done this, or whatever else. Right. Good, 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 good. All the Absolutely. Time. And it's unique. Consistent. But it's not just to be unique. Like, it's yeah. unique and good. It's not like it's unique and like, yeah. Eh. It's yeah. like, it's it's different food. It's different mm -hmm. flair. But it also gives that feeling like a local market Okay. Well, one of the things you'll notice when you come in, I believe it's over on the right side of the ceiling, mm -hmm. uh, on the on the wall there, is they have a whole like chalkboard deal of yes. this is where we sourced our uh, potatoes from, this is where we sourced our meat from, this is where, right. and it's all local. That's and it exactly tells you right. everything local that came from Texas or very close off That's and where exactly they sourced right. all their food from. And so you get that feeling of like, hey, like my stuff's pretty fresh and it came yeah. from these places. I'm supporting our local farmers and producers. Yep. It's super fresh mm -hmm. and it's oh, so, so good. good. So we started off with a little appetizer, mm -hmm. which I don't think I would have chosen myself because I'm a I like them, but I can't say that I'm like ooh, I gotta have them. But you were like, we gotta try this. Hey Corey, yeah. what has two thumbs and picks out great appetizers? <laughs> this guy. John. Yes. Every time. Happy about that because it works out every time for I me. once so, again expanded Corey's food repertoire. Yeah, yeah. And not totally kicking and screaming, but I was like, I don't know if I want to eat that. Listen, everybody's grandma or aunt or whatever mm -hmm. has a decent to good recipe for deviled eggs. That's right. And some people do it right. Some people do it wrong. Some people do it regional, and so it's different all around. Right. But they're generally... In the same ballpark of each same. other. They're usually I all use about mayo. The same. I use mustard. You know, yeah. I, I throw a little what pimento on top of mine. That's exactly you know, right. whatever. Yep. Mine has paprika. Mm -hmm. These are seasonal, and so they change the uh, deviled egg depending on what's on the menu for that point in time. Right. And what's great about that is every time you go in, you can't. You don't just say I want the deviled eggs unless you're just wanting to roll the dice. You say, right. hey. What are the deviled eggs this week or month or whatever else it right. is? Because it starts with the base of the egg, uh -huh. and then core the, the more the, the mustard, the kind of that, and then they add stuff on top of that. Yes. And this time they added it was. We're gonna mess this up. Yeah, it was like a grilled chicken. So they had a a, a rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken that they had ground up. Yep. And then there was a, a pepper in there that was like a red pepper, but it mm -hmm. wasn't a, a red pepper specifically. It was right. something else, but it looked just like red pepper. Then there was olives. A little bit of black olive. I'm and not, I don't like olives. I'm not a black olive fan, which tells you something. Yeah. If you can take an element that I'm not liking, throw it into something, and I eat the thing and go, I'm a fan of that. You did something yeah, good, my friend. That's, yeah, kudos to you. I mean, that's a major accomplishment because I yeah. don't. I'm not a black olive fan. And they, they had also, that. They also had uh, parsley. Yeah, parsley and, and some white, parmesan. white uh, parmesan and yeah. white balsamic vinegar. Yes, and that sounds like a lot on a double egg. I I understand. Mm -hmm. But it was oh so good. It's great because it's layered, and depending on how you eat the deviled egg mm -hmm. depends on how the flavors go. So if you go top down in, right, you're gonna get the chicken and the balsamic and the parmesan yes. and everything first, and then you're gonna get that great deviled egg. Right. If you go from the normal deviled egg way of eating it and pop it in normal, you're gonna get normal deviled egg, and then you're gonna get flavor, 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 flavor. I hope you understood what he just said because let's break that down because what he said is so true. It's actually right. It depends on how you put it on your in your mouth, how the flavors are gonna come sweeping across. Yeah. If you like you said, if you put it in egg like you normally would a deviled egg, you get the rich deviled egg flavor, and then it's gonna cascade oh, yeah. and flow into like the chicken and whatever else is. And then like you said, I didn't even try it the other way to start upside down. Then then it ends with the deviled egg. Yeah. And 
The Devil Egg's not strong. How would you say that? But it is so such a it's, good flavor. It's, it's a, like it's perfectly a rich mixed. Cream. The way they yeah. did, did the yolk, it's a mustard base, and they had some yeah. stuff in it. It's a rich, creamy. It. I like it. My other thing. This is a preference deal. I do not like lukewarm or room temperature deviled eggs. Right. Some people do. It's not my thing, but it's just that level of chilled. Yeah. It's just that level yes. of just good. Yep. Everything else, it's 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 not too cold, not too hot. It, it was just dead on. So what I'm going to say, no matter what time you watch this video or when you go, I would give the deviled eggs a try. Oh, yeah. Even Whatever yeah. the seasonal is, whatever they're mixing mm -hmm. at that time, they did such a great job with these. I would trust to try the others. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was fantastic. And, yep. you know, um, I'm going to go off some things that we don't have pictures of or we didn't. But, okay. like, one of the things we saw while we were there is an eat deal. Is like, they have some really cool things. Like, they have a deal called the Three Little Pigs. Yes. And it's a, it's three pulled pork sliders served on top of a brick. Yeah. A literal right. house they brick. Bring it out. And it it's fantastic. I mean, yeah. it's really, it's a good sauce. Everything else is great. It looks um, so good. And there was a person across from us that was eating that. And yeah. I think I might have stared too much. Yeah. Maybe when I tried to get in with the camera, that probably was the best. I'm pretty sure they used to have it as an as an appetizer, oh, and they switched it to an entree, because yeah. I ordered it as an appetizer once, and I was like... <laughs> no, it's so big, I don't know how I'm to out. get an appetizer. Like, we're, yeah. we're done. Thanks, That's guys. That's all I'm going to eat right Yeah, because they're the slider, they're good, thick, big sliders. They're delicious. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, so, so that was so the so the devil eggs. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, one thing you're going to see behind us is their enormous whiskey selection. Thanks. Extensive. Extensive whiskey it selection. It is in their name, so you have to expect that they probably know a thing or yes. two about whiskey. Now, um, I personally like Irish whiskeys a right. lot, and so I had a Red Breast 12 year. Right. Um, it was phenomenal. I mean, I got it served neat. It went really well, but I went on a suggestion from the waiter. Right. And that's one thing I would say is go there, tell them your kind of palate that you're looking for in a whiskey. And then let them kind of give you a suggestion and give your budget and what you're kind of looking to spend. I was going to say that. There. It's not even just the palate, but the budget. They will yeah. help you stay at the budget. In fact, like down to the pity. Because yeah. we ordered something, he came back, and, and we had said, you said what you wanted, but we threw a budget out there too yeah. just to see. And it was like slightly over the budget, and he came back and made sure that's what you still wanted to do. Yeah. And I thought that was pretty cool. It wasn't just about pushing an expensive whiskey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it was great. You know, and I've when I've been there before, I've done some of the Irish whiskey flights and stuff right. like that. And it's nice to get to try other things. And, you know, like one of them I didn't really care for, but overall I got to try like an array of things right. where normally I wouldn't get, you know, a whiskey flight everywhere else. You have a lot of places have beer flights, wine flights, right. stuff like that. But they have like such a, an array of whiskeys that every flight's really different, and you can really enjoy, enjoy every it. flight on its own. Their 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 collection is just massive. Yeah. Oh I yeah. Mean, it would it would be a lot of trips to work through every one. Of those. Or one fun night for me. <laughs> or one fun night and a week you won't remember. Yeah. That following that one fun night. So yeah. So the whiskey Corey will be great. driving. Corey will be driving absolutely on that one. All so right. then then we moved into our entrees. Now I'm going to grab. I've got them right here. Let's talk about. Let's talk about what I had. I had the pickled Rachel. <laughs> So that was Wagyu pastrami, Munster cheese, pickled cabbage slaw, comeback sauce, and local mustard. And that plays into the everything is local, a lot of local mm -hmm. fresh. Yep. And, and it was, so John laughed at me. So it came out, it was this tall. And um, when I first looked at it, I just thought it had three slices of bread. I'm going to do an impression of Corey yeah. right now. What? You, uh, uh, and you know how sometimes they'll have like a, a toothpick through the sandwich to get together? This was a like a wooden steak. Like we a, could kill vampires with this. Yeah, thing. yeah. It was a skewer. With a pickle. Just oh, it's huge. It. Yeah. So I, I decide I'm just going to go for it. And I, I take two bites. And, and, and that's when John's like, you know, you could separate that into two. And that's when I realized there were four pieces of bread. So, yes, you could separate it in, into two. Um, it was – it. I was scared about the pickled – uh, slaw. I wasn't sure, Paul, so I wasn't sure how that was going to be. You're laughing at me. I just laugh because you always say things like, I was scared of. I was very concerned. And it's never something legitimately to be scary of. Right. It'd be like, I was really scared of the Norwegian cow tongue. You yes. know, and you'd be like, yes, right, yeah. yes, I can understand why that would you be know, weird. to be I like, just, yes, when they had the bat wing soup, I was yes. a little scared, but it came out delicious. Corey's always like, I was a little scared of the butter. Of the, or, the butter, I, the, yes. yes. You know, it had bread, and that was scary. Yes. I was scared I was, of the sparkling yes. water. It was <laughs> very intimidating. I probably wouldn't be less scared oh. of the cow tongue, because I already know that's that's going to be rough. But, like, this, I thought it would be overpowering, but it wasn't. Like, it was mm -hmm. just all well-balanced, from the pastrami to the cheese to the local mustard, uh, 
it, it was great. And the bread was really, really good, too. It was a genuine pastrami. Like, you had that full flavor yes. pastrami. Yes, yes. Yeah, that was, yes. what was really good was, is a lot of times, there are a lot of elements in that sandwich. And so mm-hmm. you're talking about the slaw and the seasonings and the local mustard. And a lot of times when places don't naturally, it's not a deli. It's not mm-hmm. where it's, you lose some of those flavors of the meat. And no, you got a full pastrami flavor in that. In fact, I it, and it wasn't overpowering. It just was such a good flavor, the pastrami yep. that I don't even I couldn't even tell you what the comeback sauce tastes like. No, because I don't even. It wasn't. It that, wasn't. That's it, the whole deal. You have to come back. To have that to out. come back. They put the sauce on next time. Yep. But yeah, the sandwich. The sandwich was amazing. I just would suggest following John's mm-hmm. uh, advice and breaking it into two sandwiches to start because that was that was a big sandwich. <laughs> it was. Like there My was advice. a, I had the fries. Like you can get the chips, but I got the fries, and the fries are, are in, a, in a container, so they're standing straight up. And the sandwich was as tall as the fries. And Speaking of chips, whew. another thing that I've had there before that you need to try out okay. is they have their kettle chips, which are great. Um, they have a caramelized uh, dip, a caramelized onion dip. Okay, and it's like a French onion dip, only they caramelize the onions there, oh. and they make the whole dip there. And if you want like a nice, like, you know, you get chips and salsa at a Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. This is your chips and salsa at Whiskey Cake. Get the caramelized onion dip and the the kettle chips. Yes. And get that before dinner and set around with your people and eat that because it's smooth, it's creamy, but those caramelized onions, you get that. You get it all in the dip, but then it's it's that typical French onion. You get the smooth creaminess with that caramelized onion in there. And it it really... In fact, uh, there was a dilemma. We couldn't decide between that and the deviled eggs. Um... We weren't able to get two time wise and stuff like that, so we went with the deviled eggs. But yeah, yeah. next time we got to try the it's it's delicious. The onion dip, Do it. Onion dip. Do it. So all right, and then we move on to John's. Here we go. You ready? I've got it here. You had the whiskey braised short rib, mm. so that smoked beef short ribs, uh, beef. spaghetti squash, yep, whiskey demi glaze and grimolta, grimolta, grimolata, grimolata. I eat that all the time, as you can tell. I know exactly what. What is grimolata? So grimolata is kind of it's a it's like a, a little sauce and almost like a I don't know how to say it like a chimichurri almost but it's okay. it's a it's a mixture of spices and herbs. It's not hot spicy. It's just flavorful spicy. Yes. Okay. But there is a little a hair of spice in the um, spaghetti squash. Okay. I'm only saying that because if you are a non spice person, you're gonna little you're gonna get a kick in there. I didn't. I don't think it's spicy. But it's not bad because the one bite I was yeah. able to sneak away. It was good and rich and didn't wasn't like yeah. hot like spicy hot. Yeah, he, he still has his hand. It hurt. Yeah. Just so, best. but the great thing about the the short rib is that you're, you're talking all meat, right? You know, we, there's, there's no bone in that, anything else like that. Mm-hmm. And then you get out there, you really don't need a knife. Yeah, it just, you just falls. break it apart. Yes. And then the whiskey demi glaze is almost it's just like a brown gravy. Okay. But it's extremely good, and when you hit the the problem with the short rib is how much you get. And I'm not saying because, like, they gave me too little. Because it, it's a great portion. It's no, really good. No, I mean, good. it is. It's a good, I mean, it's, it's a just, good There's so portion. much, like, of that, like, slow-cooked meat flavor in it. Right. when you take a bite, and then you take a bite, and then about, you know, 20, 30 bites later when you're done, and you're like, where's the other pound of it that I want? Okay, so I got to, okay, so I try to eat a sandwich that you're supposed to break apart. But I got to laugh at John. So when they set it down, the smile on your face. Oh, yeah. The first bite or two, the smile gets bigger. Yeah. You know, when I stole my bite, you look really mad. And then you went back to smiling and smiling, and all of a sudden, there's just this sadness that came yeah. across your face. And he's like, The ride's over, The bad Mom? part is, it's just not enough of it. And you were about yeah. halfway through. So it wasn't like it was last bite. The depression set no. in. You start in the middle, because you're like, you already saw that the end was coming. You start taking slower <laughs> bites, and you start like, you get the meat in your mouth, and you squ- the juices out inside your mouth. You like, start let's, talking. Let's more. get those all out of there. Let's get them all out. Come on, buddy. We're doing this together. You're wanting to talk, and I'm like, I can't fit this sandwich in my mouth. Yeah, and man, I, <laughs> oh, it was funny. It was it was sad. I saw that sadness. I'm like, oh, we'll be coming back because John really, really likes. It. So their spaghetti squash is legitimately it delicious. Was good. Delicious. I and I mean for squash. You know, it's I, I don't like a lot of stuff. <laughs> Apparently, I'm picky. I didn't think uh, I was picky. Uh, the real, you know, thank you for me clueing in on what Multiple else episodes knew. later. Right. Yeah, it took a while. Captain Obvious. Yeah, but that squash was really good. It's, it's, it's exceptional. I mean, it's creamy. It's well-seasoned. Yeah. It's 
exceptional. And the the the, the ribs sit on that. It's like right on, on top a, of it. Like and a then mound they, of they it. pour that demi glaze over the top of that. Oh, and it's so one of those things where you can separate it out and then individually eat your short rib or the squash you know, right. separately, or you can kind of mix that those two flavors those two flavors together. Right. And you're going to be great either way. Yeah. And um, it's a delicious plate. Oh, everything it about is. it. Yeah. 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 Now here's something else that is not necessarily food related, but I thought was super cool. They're all about local flair, local farmers, local mm -hmm. produce, all of that. Um, did you notice their straws? Yeah, paper straws. They're paper straws, and I thought that was super cool. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's. I know, man. You went. You probably got pretty political there. We just lost 28 viewers. <laughs> Absolutely, but I thought but that was. It, I thought that was. They're very really conscious cool. of what they're doing, and, and it's also like I mean, like with it goes with the theme of we're conscious about where we're buying our food. We're yes. conscious about being local. We're yep. conscious about everything, and the then entire it's kind of local like, environment. Yeah, you just feel like that, that it embraces yeah. that, and I'm like, that was really cool. Yeah. I thought that was awesome. If you have a chance, and you're not too stuffed from everything you eat, the whiskey cake is a very large piece of cake. It's a dense cake. Um, it comes with a nice glaze over it. And then what's really awesome about it is one, it's got a great flavor, but two, um, they come out with a bowl that they've done Ooh. of your own homemade whipped cream that they've done made there. Wow. And so they don't come out with the ready whip and squirt it on top or it comes out with one deal. They give you your own bowl, they nice. mix it up, they put it on top of your, um, your cake, cake and then they can take the bowl with them, but they don't, they go, well, here's all the rest of it. That's and you're, cool. ooh, Delicious. Cool. It's phenomenal. We, we didn't do the whiskey cake today, so how big is it? Like, uh, how big is that it, serving? It's, I mean, you're probably talking about this pretty pretty thick and, you know, a nice big square. Right. And, I mean, if you're not ready to eat that, you're probably going to want to share that with somebody else. I mean, I'm, I'm not a small guy, and I've definitely went there before and, and split that. Gotcha. after Because, you, one, you got a good meal. There's a good chance you're probably going to have an appetizer. Right. If you, if you make it to the cake... And you know, could, which, man, hey, you, you, I mean, you could eat we'll it. Put all, you on our Hall of Fame yeah, wall. There, let us know. Picture on there because it was a lot of food. It is. It is. But it's yeah. It, like it's it's really good portions. Mm -hmm. It's it's not too big. It's not too small. It's just a nice, satisfying portion. Yep. Yeah. And, and it's and like we said earlier, it's unique food. It's not mm -hmm. unique, weird. Like oh, I don't know what to get. It's just oh, that's different. I'm yeah. gonna try that. Yeah. That is really good. Combinations of stuff I may not have put together, and I thought, no, it was excellent. Next time we got to try the cake, though, because I want my whipped cream. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get my whipped cream. That would be pretty good. Yeah. I'm not scared of that. <laughs> you know what we should do? I'm we, not scared of many We've got to do a video where we just go back and do one video of the restaurants we went to where we didn't have dessert. Okay, yes. We always say, like, we have to do a whole other show on desserts. You went that one time without me to that gelato place, but I'm not going to hold that against you. Or ever bring that up again until... The next episode but yes i think we should go back and try all the desserts of these places because we really do try all the food while we're there yeah we've toned it down a little because there's a couple of times we hurt ourselves well, pretty after bad. the doctors threatened to put the pacemaker in we brought <laughs> it back exactly right yes a notch or five but whiskey cake we are going back oh yeah for sure Absolutely. i i'd eat that we ate it all oh yeah we put it out and again. we'll eat it again yep. we'll go back so, so be sure to, if you've been there, leave us a comment. Let us know what you thought. What should we try? Uh, if you've tried something that we had today in love, let us know what yeah. you think about that. And if you have a restaurant that we should need to go to try next time, we'll leave that in the comments as well. Let us know. Yeah. We're ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Like, comment, share. Yeah. Tell us about your friends. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And uh, let's go eating again, man. Have a ready? great day. All right. Bye. We're ready to eat. I am scared of a lot of food. A lot. Why is that? Every show, you're like, I was really worried about such and such. I was really scared of that. I was just so worried about blah, blah, blah. And I'm you like, know, when I say scared, it's an exaggeration, but no, actually, I think I'm scared. Of <laughs> Not desserts. I seem to like They brought out the milk, and I was, I was like, like, oh, whoa. Let's slow this down. Whoa. I don't know if I'm ready for this. <laughs> so, yeah.